Hello. I'm Captain Vile. Welcome back to Cuphead. You may notice I'm Cuphead for some reason. Instead of Mugman. That is because I clicked on okay, I'm just trying to remove player. No, I wanted I wanna play on controller. Okay. Wait, hang on. But I got the damn... Okay. I, w I opened the game, went to OBS to start recording. Now it's doing... Pres okay, now I'm on control. But I, like... I was controlling with keyboard, so I turned on my controller in order to be like, all right, now I'm on controller. But now I... I mean, now what? Now I've used my wish, which I was going to use to P rank levels with. But you know what? Whatever. All right. By the way, I cannot seem to find the other damn level. Like, where the hell is that thing? There's a pier level, and I cannot find it for the life of me. But I was gonna use the genie wish to... Uh, help me P rank, and I don't want to do it for the mountain one because there's an ocean one, and it's so much worse. It's awful, but it's like I can't find it anywhere. I'm assuming it must be like here then. But now I'm stuck because I can't fight a boss because the bosses open up doors, and that's. Well, hmm. Like, I'm pretty sure I need to fight a pirate in order to be doing the second one. So, I wanted to beat her this time, but I guess not. Because I'm not wasting 5 HP on her, hell no. So, we're just gonna... We're just P-ranking this one, then. That's what we're doing. Alright. Fine by me. All right. Cool. Escaped this hell. Hell. Of course, being an abbreviation, because I'm not allowed to criticize this game. So let me see. What? What is it an abbreviation of? Boy, am I going to need to pull out my vocabulary for this one. Heavenly... Ironic. Hmm. Heavenly... Endure. Heavenly... No, endure is negative. Heavenly Endeavor. Lost... Heavenly Endeavor... Listed... Heavenly Endeavor. It doesn't have to make sense. I'm just trying to make it make sense. Heavenly Endeavor, Louisiana Lavender. Fight me, comments. Alright, there. I have now gotten past criticizing this game. However, if it deserves to be not criticized, is yet to be seen. As we haven't beaten it yet. Excuse me, viewers. Do excuse me, viewers. A sudden affliction has seemed to have affected my voice. 
that is of no cause by my emotional state, as my emotional state is conveying only joy. As how could it not, as I am attempting an entirely fair challenge. I mean, these goats have to be the definition of fair. I, how else could anyone get by them? It's only fair. In fact, sacrificing damage? That's a okay. My dear viewers, it's simply give and take why the game takes and takes and takes. And you give your soul. Um, now, along the line, some things may have been blurred. However, that is simply the cause of business, everyone. There's no need to be alarmed. It's no cause for seething hatred or any sort of thing like that. You just move on and, um, deal with it. Alright, spamming Harry kind of works there. Could you leave me alone, goats? Messengers of Pan? I don't know what they want to be called. What are they called? What? I, they have a name. They're a specific creature. You might find if you look in a book throughout what is this Greek history why I'm so infatuated with the game I'm currently playing I do not quite have the time to look in encyclopedia and find out exactly where they drew their inspiration from, dear viewers, dear, dear viewers, who I am indeed doing this for. This wondrous challenge of not being upset. <laughs> of course. Why would I feel the need to be upset, dear viewers? Why, everything's perfectly fair and balanced in this game. Or else, why would they have uh, released and programmed it this way? Dearest, dear viewers, I mean, how could a game development company with over hundreds of workers have let something unfair slip through the cracks? Why, that's simply unheard of in our day and age. Nay, I refuse to believe that a game made nowadays could possibly in any way, shape, or form be considered by anyone who has an understanding of the word unfair. Why, this is perfectly balanced. This is an amazing experience I am currently playing, and I implore you, dear viewers, to find me a better and well-crafted experience than the one I am currently doing. P-Ranking Cuphead truly gives definition to the word LIFE. <laughs> Show me the letter. <laughs> that is not the letter I was referring to, dear viewers. Now, I would, as I edit this, <laughs> and I, I implore any of you who may be watching to run back the footage and see if you can find any time I may have possibly harmed a creature other than myself by experiencing what I just went through. So, I'm going to go kill a boss now.
I'm I'm just I'm just gonna kill a boss now. Nah, just stay far away. Nah, you know what? This this one works too. Let's just kill kill a boss. Kill a boss, eventually my teeth will stop gritting. Eventually my my fists will stop shaking. It's perfectly natural. Prop that car. I wonder how the guy gets in it. Maybe there's a chair on it, on a pulley or something. Who knows? I am uh, what could be considered not the largest fan of this phase, so I'm going to like to try to get through it quickly. Was I close to getting through it quickly? Wow, dear viewers, I wasn't. Dear viewers, maybe there are some dear viewers. I am, of course, referring to the American animal viewers. Is it simply American? Who knows? My mother says she saw some deer the other day and we don't live in America. So perhaps not just American. I wonder where deer are native to, if they are not only found in America. Who knows? One of life's great mysteries, isn't it? Could you show a deer this video and then comprehend what was happening? I doubt it. In fact, it would probably be very difficult to show this video to a deer, as they tend to run away. Unless, of course, they're in captivity and are very familiar with you. But that seems like a very specific situation that a viewer would find themselves in, to have either be in the company of a domesticated deer or an ownership of one. Maybe a zookeeper, or some such. Are deer found in zoos? Well, I'm not entirely sure. Not to my recollection. However, I must say it has been a good while since I've found myself in a zoo. Why is this guy taking a bow? What the hell did he do? The priest? What? You were in one scene, buddy. Ego, if you ask me. Goddamn. Stop taking curtain calls. Get this guy off the stage. There we are. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, you're shot. Wait, but no. I think I actually just beat up an actress. They, they, they stopped taking curtain calls. Like, in context, it does seem like we're just beating up the main actress, but that one, like, she had a black eye, missing teeth. Who killed her? Okay. Go upstairs now. Alley stage play. Well, I guess that kind of, I don't know, doesn't really do too much for me, I gotta say. Alright, we can go and attempt to train here, the ghost train, it's a cool one. It's a nice reference to found themselves on the wrong side of the tracks, and it's actually like there's a train, that's a nice setup. Okay, let's go fight this rat now. Uh, marine corpse. And that was that's a good one for this. All right, I like I quite like this boss. It's one of the easier ones, but I think it's pretty cool. Good day for a well battle. You're up. Mm. Missed it. Ow! Mm. I tried to get both of them. There's other chances to parry. I'll do those. Yeah, it's like the genie boss fight. Different openers. Mm. 
well, crikey, and I'm, I might be stupid. I'm getting stuck on all the easy bosses, man. Why is that happening? Dash. There you go. When you employ strategies, they work. See, you can parry on the gum. However, if you should is debatable. Have I have since uh, shown? Oh. I think that's pretty cool. That's why I like this one so much. Just all the neat ways he does it. Hey, buddy. Does he hit him? No, that does not hit him. Like the bottle cap bus was. I'm gonna do this and this phase out. Well, now that's not great. How am I meant to get his soul if he's dead? Can I kill them? I don't know if I... Oh, they shoot the ground, do they? Hmm. Ah, nuts. <laughs> no clever remarks. I don't actually know if I need the uh, quick dash. Might not. That was pretty close. I'm trying to get at the other one too. That's my favorite attack. It's just so cool because of like the setup and what he does. I like creative ways on mm, dodging attacks and setting them up, too. I don't know if you can stand on that pillar. It's probably not the best idea since you can come down at any moment. And there's not much of a telegraph to it. Whoa! I thought he was going to attack. Does this do more damage? I assume it does. Does that stop at a point? No, there's a uh, specific... Mm. Getting them on the ground, like having the two pellets, that keeps getting me from the ghosts. No, come on. Can't take damage on the first phase. It's it's getting to be one of those challenges, but I'm not... I actually am not mad. I didn't know if say I was mad earlier, of course. Dude. Does this give... No, I don't think it does. I don't even think I parried it, actually. I only got through that because I had the quick dash. Oh crap, they were popping. They weren't doing any damage to him. Come on. Any second now. First time I've had to actually change on that. Oh, now we're done. Of course, we're fine. Not that I'm complaining. Maybe I should save that for the ghosts. Actually, that's that's what I should do. Try to take them both out. Okay, he's dead. Well, again. There we go. Oh my goodness, it was him all along. Where did he get the ghosts from? 
Either he has, for like, projectors, or he actually killed other mice. Maybe he lives doing that to guard his territory and get a robot cat. A minus. Neato. Now this doesn't really help us. Excuse me, throughout the map at all. Because, I mean... We're still not any closer to getting wherever the hell it is. Seriously, I have no idea. But we gotta fight the pirate. Which sucks, he's one of my favorites. But, whatever. Do the next episode. And then we'll try and P-rank the others again. <sighs> Alright. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.